to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to You them. want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Well, do any of you remember that uh, little movie clip scene? Well, for those of you who do, you probably know where this is going, but let me uh, update a few of you. Uh, Tom Cruise is an actor who's been around for a long, long time, and one of the movies he made was uh, Top Gun, and uh, it was a smash hit, but that was many, many years ago, at least in movie and in uh, current pop culture time. But right now, he's had a long sequel, which is called Top Gun, and it is the Maverick version. And, of course, it's doing extremely well. It obviously hits the right note, uh, makes people feel good, makes them feel good about America and patriotism and feel good to see people doing brave and courageous and powerful things. So they hit it just right, and uh, he's made a, a lot of money already, and, of course, they're going to make a whole lot more. But uh, Tom Cruise uh, was also known for a film a number of years ago, which uh, was also a very controversial, but it was very tough, because it was not only uh, Tom playing the role of a Navy lawyer, and Jack Nicholson playing the role of a Marine commander. And just so happened that something had gone wrong, and one of the uh, young Marines uh, was uh, going through a hazing, which eventually took his life, and uh, as a result of that, there was a conflict as the uh, Judge Advocate Corps, the judge in the military, made uh, their appeal that uh, this commander should be held responsible for the young Marine's death. And uh, that was the confrontation that took place, and Jack Nicholson cries out when he says, I want the truth. He makes that classic line, you can't handle the truth. Well, the truth is a hard thing to handle, and the truth is a hard thing to get a hold of, to get a handle on. So I thought we might talk about how we uh, perhaps uh, communicate and try and tell the truth in these um, troubled times. That will be uh, an interesting idea, I guarantee it. My name is Stan Houston. This is Interesting Ideas, brought to you by What It Takes Radio, a podcast and product uh, publishing service, and we'll be glad to help you, but right now we're going to help you by bringing you this program. It starts right now. One of the uh, signature uh, stories that I tell quite often is about a man named Clement Stone. W. Clement Stone. Now, again, probably an unfamiliar name to most of you, but I'll give you a little bit of the history of, about him. He was truly a rags-to-riches story, uh, a young man who clawed his way to the top and eventually became a world-class entrepreneur, uh, had many businesses, and he very, very much uh, had a financial services and insurance business, and uh, he was the epitome of success in terms of uh, what people thought success was. But he was also somebody who uh, had a strong sense of wanting to communicate uh, how one becomes successful, and about uh, his view of life. And he was the founder of what is called PMA, and that is a positive mental attitude. And many of us know that part of the uh, early motivational uh, uh, movement, particularly in the uh, latter part, 60s, 70s, and 80s of the uh, past century, was dealing just with that, you know, uh, how to win friends and influence people, still very popular. Also, the fact that, hey, psycho-cybernetics, what you think about, what you have inside of you, that is what will come out of you. And so the idea was, is what you think is how you behave, and how you behave is what you become. And so, you know, the uh, 
positive living, the uh, power of positive thinking. Those were the things that very much uh, captured many people's hearts, minds, and they're all good. We probably should go back to them and revisit some of them from time to time. But, of course, uh, what has happened is we've become a, a little more diverse in our cultural appreciation of things. And um, let's face it, we've become a much more cynical and skeptical people. And that's probably not very good. Because usually people who are skeptical and cynical are not people who achieve a great deal of things. The positivity, the grateful spirit, those kind of things truly are a part of what W. Clement Stone said. You know, you have to have a positive mental attitude. And that's true. And I hope that you are working on that because many people don't realize still how important, positive, uh, uh, joyful, uh, fun-filled, entertaining, uh, Making people smile is a part of a successful living. I oftentimes tell people that I'm absolutely convinced that Jesus was funny. <laughs> Someone has said that some of his teachings, actually, you have to understand that uh, he's, he's being a little bit sarcastic with a smile. Uh, he's saying things to shock people. He's in the world to tell people that, hey... There's a new way to live. Now, Clement Stone, however, and uh, he was well known for this, uh, and when you see pictures of him, he's impeccably groomed, you know. His hair and his stature and his clothing, I mean, it is class. By the way, I'm going to have a program on what is class today. He was first class, and he always lived, looked, and was first class. But in a moment of real freedom and real truth, he confessed at this point. He said, yes, I've been very, very successful, and I'm very, very grateful for my success, and uh, I certainly believe in a positive mental attitude. But let me tell you a secret. One of the things that helped me be successful, because not everything was easy. There were just an incredible amount of hard things and hard times and very difficult things. And he said, what really helped me along with my positive mental attitude was that I always sought to have the courage to face the truth. I always sought to have the courage to face the truth. I put that... Uh, over my desk, I still have it. Have the courage to face the truth. And it will come to us in many ways. <laughs> and most of them we won't appreciate, and that's going to be what we'll talk about in the second part of the program, and how you deal with that. But uh, can we truly say, God, give me the courage to face the truth? I have what I also sometimes do as a little slogan all I do is do a T and then a 9. T9. And you know what the T9 stands for? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Nine words. They are powerful words. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. T9. Well, that's where we're going. What I'd like to do now is tell you that uh, telling the truth is oftentimes not the best way to get the results you want. Telling the truth the way most of us do it may not be very successful today. And so what I'm going to suggest, I'm going to give you an original Houstonism and this is my little motto about truth-telling that will be very helpful, I believe, for your life and your business. So uh, it's not about necessarily always telling the truth, 
but it's about doing something else with the truth. I hope you'll come back. Hi, I'm Stan Houston. These are interesting ideas, and that's the name of our program. We want you to do three things. First of all, we'd like you to have the courage to face up and say, I'd like to tell the truth on your program and show my story. Why don't you do that? Don't just sit there, volunteer to do something you haven't done before. So reach out to me at stanhusted at gmail.com, stanhusted at gmail.com. And perhaps uh, you might say, I could use a little teaching and a faithful telling the truth uh, for me and my business right now. And perhaps you could help me do that. Well, that's what we do, and we do it pretty well. So if there's a way in life and business, particularly in those of you who are building an entrepreneurial or a startup business, there are ways that we can help you. And we would love to have that opportunity to do just that. Stan Houston. Stan Houston at gmail.com. We'll be back. Here we go. I'm going to encourage you to write this down. But for many, many years, I've been sharing this when it first hit me. And uh, as a business coach, it changed everything about how I did things and perhaps even how I live my life in so many ways. Oftentimes, people say they want the truth or prove it to me, uh, show it to me. And, of course, they uh, said that uh, the burden of this was on me. Well, that's true. If you are a communicator or presenter, the burden of proof and truth is on you. But also, let's be realistic to understand this. And here we go. Number one, a truth told is good. Unfortunately, it's seldom heard. Can I say that again? A truth told is good. People don't hear it. It goes right by them. They ignore it. They reject it. They don't pay any attention to it. You told them the truth, but nothing happened. (laughs) They didn't necessarily believe it. They ignored it. Nothing happened. Because you told them the truth. And it came from you to them. Okay, a truth told is good. It's good to tell the truth, but it's seldom heard. Number two, but a truth revealed has greater yield. What if you do something that kind of shows people? You, you know, reveal it to them. And then they can see what it might be. A truth revealed. It's a revelation. They see, experience, uh, hear, something that um, all of a sudden they say, Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. A truth revealed has greater yield. But here's the big one. Number three, but a truth discovered is best of all. My job and your job as a coach, teacher, communicator, business leader, a person of influence, is to do things in which all of a sudden people by themselves, or perhaps a little bit with your help, but they discover the truth for themselves. They discovered it. They found it. They understand it. Discover the truth for themselves. And number four, a truth imposed is no truth at all. I'm sorry, 
But when it comes to communication and relationships, when we impose the truth on people, it's not truth. Not to them. A truth imposed is no truth at all. So remember that uh, when you're a boss, when you're a leader, <laughs> when you're a communicator, when you're a parent, uh, when you're a politician, whatever you happen to be about in which you are trying to influence people and lead people and help people, a truth discovered is best of all, and a truth imposed is no truth at all. I would encourage you to remember that for the rest of your life. If you'd like me to tell you more about that or uh, literally <laughs> send it to you, I'll be glad to do that. Stan Houston at gmail.com. Stan Houston at gmail.com. Yeah, you know, even though uh, the Tom Cruise character was uh, the hero of that film, in effect, Jack Nicholson, who was the bad guy in that film, actually told a, a significant life truth. You can't handle the truth. The uh, best part of life will come to those people who have the courage to face the truth, and then they know how to handle the truth. And then what do they do? Well, we'll close that up. I hope this has been helpful to you. You might want to go back and watch that movie again. It, it was a, a few brave men. Uh, and a, there it was, Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson. And that's a classic scene. Also, uh, if I can help you in any way, when it comes to whether you are in leadership or sales or whatever, if you can help people, if you can discover ways to help people discover the truth, rather than trying to just tell them the truth, and uh, in fact even impose the truth, uh, you'll be much better, not only at what you do, but who you are. So reach out to me at stanhusted at gmail.com, stanhusted at gmail.com, and you will also discover that as we go through this week, that one of the best ways to help people discover the truth is to tell a story. One of the best ways to help people discover the truth for themselves is to tell a story. That's coming up. All the best and blessings to you in these difficult times. And uh, there are challenges that uh, are before us. There are perhaps difficult times before us. And I'm hoping that all of us will have uh, the God-given courage, because that's what it's going to take, not only to face the truth, but handle the truth, but then most importantly, in some of the best ways possible, share the truth about what it means to truly live fully alive, and live well. Bye for now.